kind of weird starting this. Hello then, gang. Welcome back to an episode of Thames FC with me, Dr. Benji FM. Uh, it's sort of an episode. It's five years in the future. Lots of people requested it. Uh, I was going to do 10 years, but actually I thought five years we'd be able to see better progression. It would be familiar to us as well. I felt like if we went 10 years, it'd be very different. And we wouldn't necessarily recognise some of the players and some of the goings on. Um, so we're sticking with this. I've reappointed myself as manager just so we can look at things like finances and how the club are getting on and what's projected and things that may be coming as well. Um, but yes, you can already see then that we resigned and went forward five years. We're in the August. I went a little bit further, actually, uh, to, to the new season. You can see that Patrick Vieira took charge. Uh, then Ricky Lambert was a, a caretaker. Felix Klaus then took over. Gilfie Sigurdsson uh, was, was a caretaker for a little bit. Ruben Semedo, which is baffling, two years, nearly three years. Uh, Ruben Semedo, the right back, you might recall, at Barcelona currently, I believe, if you, if you take a look at it. Um, he's not there now. I think he moved, though, didn't he? And he now he's at Barcelona, but it was at Villarreal. Uh, for a short time sporting too he was manager for quite a long period the longest since we left actually and then uh, Demetrius Demarcos was actually doing a pr probably a pretty good job uh, just won the Europa League it must be said uh, since we last met not a lot of league no league wins in fact or cup wins uh, there the, the only achievements really are still left by me so I, I'm pleased about that in a weird way so those are the men who managed uh, I've no doubt though you want to see who's here and if they're not here where are they okay then you can actually hide the caretakers, which I think we should. Uh, this, then, is the squad. It's worth noting I don't have the badge pack because I've moved it to next year's game. Um, yeah, sorry about that. But this is the squad, and I can already see some names that are very familiar to me. There's about six, seven, maybe, that stand out. Um, Fiore's still here. That's weird. All right, let's go through then. Let's first focus on some of the names that are still here. So Calvo, uh, 29 now, did indeed, my word, did indeed turn into a world-class goalkeeper, in my opinion anyway. Uh, looks really good. Had a season one year, 17 clean sheets in the league. How did they not win the league that year? Holy smokes, they barely conceded a goal. Um, yeah, he's still here then, Calvo. Very, very good. At right back, uh, Renato Furtado, dubbed Nelly Furtado, 31 now. Still really, really good though. I mean, barely improved, but was this good when we bought him uh, all those years ago. Um, I Tavio Giovanni still here as well. Looks still really, really solid. Has he had some good years? Yes, yes, he has. Some 7.4s in there. 7.3, 7.6 so far this season. He's only played a couple of games, though. Uh, very impressive stuff from him. Um, who else is still here? Paolo Alves. We brought in quite late, remember, for, as a replacement for Hulurum. Um, Yeah, is looking still very, very good. Progressed really nicely. We bought some good players, viewers. I think that's the, that's the bottom line here. Um, there's obviously some names that aren't still here. Ferreira, though, uh, still here. Carlos Ferreira, 31 now as well. Still looks like a really good player. Has had some terrific seasons. Blimey. How have Thames not won more... Uh, Okay, never mind. Uh, and then further down we go. Obanich, that's the one I wanted to look at. I want to see just how good he got. Uh, Fiore's still here, though. It's been, it's been at the club. I mean, he's basically just doing the same job that he did when I was here, which is quite nice in a weird way. Um, and, okay, Marinko, Obanich, Obanek. We, we changed constantly. Uh, let's see then. Oh, he turned into a very good player. I, I wonder, did he play as the centre forward or the winger? That would be quite interesting to see. Uh, scoring a lot of goals, which suggests he probably plays the centre forward uh, and became the main outlet. He became the main outlet, viewers, because Ben Hur's not here. Oh, no. Oh, it makes me very sad. Uh, if we base it on value, maybe, or ability or potential, they've got some also some very good players. Jeff Scarf. Did they buy him? I guess they did from Sunderland of all teams, of course. £55 million. Pounds. Um, yeah, pretty good. Left-sided player. Very good, actually. Manuel Mackay, not here, bear in mind. I will say, if you didn't watch Thames, lots of these things I'm saying will be very good confusing uh, Emmanuel Ojo as well uh, a central player blimey he's very good again could be a left-sided player or a striker actually but my word he's very decent just bought from Real Madrid from thir for 33.5 million still getting good players from Madrid Jimenez of course came from Real um, but yeah very good and uh, Juan Carlos Sanchez we'll look at one more central midfielder Yes, very well rounded. Did we look at him once? I think I wanted to buy him once upon a time, actually. And it turns out he did make his way to Thames, which I like. Right, let's look at some of the uh, league finishes. And then we'll look at the players that are no longer here and have broke my heart, frankly. So you can see, Premier Division stuff then. Uh, when we finished, we finished third, you might recall. So that was the final year we've had. They've had five years since then. And as you can see, uh, still a top seven club. So they finished seventh the year after we left. Back in the Champions League, we finished seventh. Uh, then a fourth, fifth, fifth, and back to fourth. Um, 80 points the year they finished fourth one year. would have been enough to win league titles when I was around at once upon a time. Um, fascinating stuff. I mean, it, it's... A shame they've not done more. I mean, maybe if we did another five years, they would do. But to say they've come from nothing to now have a four and a half star reputation, 
Titans, pretty good for me, I'm not going to lie. It's annoying that the kits aren't there. I've got some news about the kits, by the way. Uh, end of the video, stay tuned. Uh, they, they're, they're leaving us. That's that's the basis for the news. They're still available, but they're going. Okay, so some good league performances, uh, landmark-wise. Uh, they've, they've run us up in the Super Cup. They won the Europa League, though. That's nice. Let's at least see the name on the Europa League list, please. There it is, look. Oh, that's, that, that's delightful. So, since I left, uh, obviously we won it in our final year. Spoilers to anyone that's catching up. Uh, Juventus, Monaco, Sunderland, Dortmund, and Thames again. Uh, I wish the badge was there. That is now annoying me. I mean, you have to just look at it on the shirt. I mean, it's still there. Oh, they've got a category one youth rating. Oh, I'm so proud. They've also got... Oh, they failed in a takeover bid. So they're trying to sell the club. Uh, Christian Schneider is currently in charge. Okay, financially then, quickly. How are they looking? Five million in the balance. Five million. What about the sponsors? Are they pretty big? There's some hefty ones in there. Okay, there's some there's some nice ones. I can handle that just about. But yeah, not great in terms of um, income and expenditure. Wow, was that an investment they had there or a sale? Okay, I, let's see the players that left who we remember fondly. So if we go to best 11, this should provide us with some familiar names. Oh, look at all of those. All right, so uh, we'll go through Robbie Edmund. I'm assuming he's he's still playing at Hull. Twenty, uh, sorry, 32 years of age, still playing at Hull. Uh, he left us. I think he left us actually in the final year we were there, and has just stayed at Hull. Loyal. He's a loyal guy. Pierre left. Pierre, where did you go? What did you do, Pierre? You went to Hull as well. I mean, Pierre found his. Okay, Pierre went all over the place. Pierre went to Celtic. I'm pretty sure he was leaving on a free uh, in our final year, if I remember rightly. Um, and then obviously Wolves, Hull. He's he's had a few transfers. He's never quite lived up to what I'd hoped. It's just a shame. But an academy prospect, uh, we'll always remember those goals he scored, right? We'll always remember those goals. All right, as we go further down the list then, of course, some players that are currently here. Altadal, I mean, a hero of the save, uh, went a little bit all over after Thames, but 117 in 211. If you've got an Altadal shirt, massive respect. Love that. Love to see the fact that he was, he's still a club legend as far as I'm concerned. A hero. I tell you, it says the first line of his biography, a Thames FC legend. I love that. Absolutely love that. What a guy, what a guy. Uh, Pat Rogers, of course, who we had, weirdly, still still in America, Minnesota, 35 year old, thirty five years of age. Um, it's interesting with, with, with uh, Pat Rogers. We never actually signed him, but he was so prolific in the lower leagues. You see there, the Van Arma National, League 2 and League 1, an absolute goal screw machine. If you look at it here, actually, 100 goals in 160 deserves to be uh, in that first 11. Ben Hur will get to. Uh, Christy Clarkstoke, of course, retired, I imagine, at 32. Yeah, he was long gone. But 250 appearances. Awusi was a star as well, don't forget. Um, after starting at Norwich, ended up at ours. 89 and 119. Awusi probably deserved more credit. We just didn't give it to him, really. Uh, Stevie Foster there as well, worth noticing. Quite a few people got Stevie Foster shirts. Love that too. 47 goals in 300 appearances for Thames. Love that. An icon. A Thames icon. Love it. Um, Fitzpatrick, Heath uh, there as well as Campbell. Uh, we'll ignore them. And we'll go to Ben Hur, who's got two 267 goals in 359 games. When did you leave and where did you go? Ben Hur plays for Paris Saint-Germain. It just hurts my soul. Him and Hulodum obviously now play together. Um, he went, I mean, it was not straight away, but £95 million, which I think ended up being his release fee. He's been pretty dominant at PSG. Has he won things at PSG? Uh, he's won league titles. He won the Olympic Games, which is really nice to see, as well as some other uh, trophies in France as well. Of course, won the Europa League with us too. Um, um, oh, Ben Hur, he's still very good. I mean, for him, those mentals are outrageous. Ben Hur, if I was managing now and doing another year, we'd bring Ben Hur back. Definitely bring Ben Hur back. All right, so let's take a look then at some of our final seasons. I just want to see where a few other players went. Manuel Mackay, where did you head to? Barcelona, fair enough, £79 million. Pounds. I mean, jobs are good. And of course, this I should say, this save uh, is available to people uh, who are in the right Patreon bracket. If people want to go through uh, from the point in which we stopped, it is available. Uh, by all means, check that out in the link in the description. Quite a few people have been interested. It's still available. It'll be available forever, essentially. If you get into that, if you're in that bracket of, uh, of Patreon support, you are eligible to have this save if you want it, um, to play it or look at it or, or whatever you want to do. Uh, Jimenez is there as well. Let's take a look. Uh, Arsenal, you went to. Interesting. Um, again, left not long after we left. There's a few players that obviously were loyal to me. Uh, Herzog, another one who, who moved on. AC Milan. It's fascinating to see where some of these players went. Uh, Heludum, of course, went to PSG. He, he and Ben Hur then now play in the same team, which I kind of like and at the same time, it sort of disgusts me, but uh, I can get on board with it. Uh, the, the, oh, my word, the guy that... I saw the Halo as well. The guy that we always wanted from Real Madrid ended up at PSG. So, in the end, some of the some of these boys did get to play together. Uh, Cedric Diallo, who we had at left-back, is also at PSG. They all moved £71 million. Holy smokes.
Anyone else? Did anyone else go there as well? No, no, no one else. Kabali, who we almost did, he signed. I went, went to Chelsea, did he not? Yeah, and then has ended up at PSG. This was almost the, t- the tamest team at one point. I'm, just, I'm getting a little giddy here. This is kind of weird. Uh, let's look at some of the more outs, though. Uh, Thorben Dorfer ended up at Lazio. Just going to go through a few of these and pick out names that we recognise. Uh, anyone on that one that I recognise? Don't think so. Or that one. Ben Hur obviously left a, f- a couple of years ago. Um, lots of players moved then. Banner left the team, of course, a player that we brought in uh, in the last stages. Pierre, of course, went to Celtic. Uh, Adam Erickson, Of course, Oscar Rowney. Some of these boys. Uh, Oscar, Oscar Rowney went to Sheffield Wednesday. Adam Erickson went to Manchester United. He's now at Barcelona. Wow, what a career that boy's had. Uh, Dortmund, Thames, but Manchester United, Barcelona, my word. Antonio uh, went to Juventus, ended up at Lazio. Beyond that, though, again, moved for quite a small amount, actually. Um, and so Diallo went to uh, PSG as well. Is this the summer after I left? And I think it probably is. Oh, uh, Lazaro, the Lazaro fan club. You're gonna want to know. Uh, Austria Vienna. Did he? Has he had a, a successful time there? I mean, the amount of clean sheets this guy keeps. I mean, the and people wonder why we didn't keep him at Thames. Dear old D, he's not even playing regularly, really. Uh, anyway, that's that's pretty much a roundup there. We've gone through almost everything in terms of players. Um, so interesting then, Thames, have been doing okay, it's fair to say, doing okay without setting the world alight. They've got this hot prospect here, uh, Andy Debra. I mean, did he come through the academy? He looks pretty good. Please say he did. Oh, he did. So he was in the current, the next regen day, I guess. I mean, I kind of want to see are there any other young players here. If we just add in age a moment. All right, some of the youngsters. So he's the he's the very much the youngest. Uh, any more potential in this team? Billy Abbott is he decent? I mean, he's he's he's, he's, he's existing. The other twenty three is not much to write home about either. And the twenty ones. Oh uh, oh, Jeff Robinson. Jeff Robinson, he could have been a star. You never know. He looks pretty good, actually, even at the age of 16. Not too bad at all, then. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else you'd want me to go over, really. Hopefully, I've not missed too much. Um, the landscape of English football, I guess we'll take a quick look at, if, if we're very quick. Uh, so, of course, that was uh, the last year. Oh, sorry, this is the current season. But Chelsea, <laughs> Chelsea, City were just dominant. Maybe that was a factor. I mean, did, did the Thames come close at any point, actually? Let's check that out. So, we saw some of the totals. Obviously, we saw they finished. Fourth was last season, 78 points, pretty comfortably in fourth, to be fair. Uh, then a fifth place, again, not really close to anyone, if we're being honest. Uh, fifth place finish with 78, level with Sunderland, a little way off the top four. Um, 80 points that year. City were dominant, 94 points, like consistently in the 90s almost. So good from them. And uh, of course, that was the year after we left as well, down to 62 points, level with Liverpool. And uh, again, didn't make the top four. That might have hindered them a little bit. That might be actually why quite a lot of players left. Went out of the Champions League, of course. So I don't know, can you blame them? We got them to a certain level. They're probably expected a little more. How did Thames do in the Champions League? Maybe we should look at that. All right, so last year, of course, they won the Europa League. They were in the Europa League from the very beginning in Group B uh, and eventually beat Porto in the final, which is quite nice to see. Uh, the year before that, again, Europa League, uh, they were knocked out by Marseille that time. Not great, is it? Uh, even for that Champions League quarterfinals, uh, went out to Sunderland. That's Carabao Cup, Ben. Uh, what are you talking about? Sorry, Champions League. No, actually, they did okay. Quarterfinals, out to City. Didn't score against them, disappointingly. And got to an FA Cup semi-final. Again, knocked out by City. Very much the problem team uh, that year. Again, Europa League. Uh, how do they do in this one? Uh, so, oh, knockout stages. Knockout stages. Final. Lost in the final. So, Tames got to another European final and lost. Uh, also, an FA Cup semi-final and lost. Thames are such a nearly team. My word. So many times. And uh, the year after... After we left, of course, they were in the Champions League. How did they do? They went out to Leverkusen, which is a bit sad, isn't it? Never mind. And uh, it bottled the end of the Premier League as well. Didn't do very well towards the back end. The nearly team. I think that's all. That's how I'm going to remember Thames. Salford were very much a dominant side that won almost everything. Uh, Palmer were ups and downs with them, of course. But Thames were very much the nearly side. We never quite did it. They were almost... I mean, there's something lovable about it, don't get me wrong, but they were just never quite there. They were just sort of there all the time rather than being up here or down here. They were just they were just there. What a journey, though. And, uh, yeah, I think this probably will be the final uh, episode we do with them. I say episode, sort of, sort of a recap of what happens in 10 years. Uh, rivals, we've got some competitive rivalries now. United, Sunderland, Chelsea, Arsenal, which have been developed over time. Uh, legends still, Alterdale, Ben Hur. Dr. Benji, lovely stuff. And uh, yeah, really nice to see. Uh, icons, again, lots of familiar names. Michael Smith still in there. No players, I'm noticing, in these lists uh, since we left. So in the five years in which you've left, no one's managed to put themselves quite on that pedestal, which 
privately i probably still i quite like the fact that that was all me uh history maybe we should quickly look at records i'll leave that for those that are interested actually we'll sort of leave that there ben her 200 league goals uh, and, and the most appearances stevie foster still holds on to that so if you're interested and uh, maybe you'll spot something comment and let me know um but that's gonna wrap things up if you enjoyed this look uh, forward i guess look back look forward at thames uh then of course leave a like if you want to see some more then you're at the wrong channel really because there'll be no more Thames uh, I did mention though very quickly shirts of course I'm wearing a Thames shirt right now I've also got one in my possession they will be available until the end of the month and at the end of the month they are gone forever uh, I don't think they'll be back for any reason if there's a huge demand maybe we will do um, but yeah get yourself a t get yourself a Thames FC shirt I mean I, I covered my face there uh, by all means it even says I don't know if anyone's ever noticed this really but it says there's hashtag scenes in, the, in that bit there nice isn't it good um yeah still available third shirt i think this was third third shirt maybe um get yourself one if you want one if not that's fine uh, it's a really nice way to support the channel and you get something in return as well so again totally up to you don't feel obliged to but if you'd like to please do we've sold loads so thank you if you've got one please uh send me pictures i'm making a collage for my wall uh where i want to see loads of tem shirts people wearing tem shirts because to me the fact people support a series enough to want to buy the shirt of a fictional team is mad uh good news fictional football fans my main save on fm19 is fictional it's in north america I will say no more than that and just keep your eyes peeled in the next month or so. Uh, right, I look forward to that. And that's going to bring on to this. If you enjoyed it, as I say, do drop a like and I'll see you again soon. Thank you for watching Thames. Thank you for supporting it. And um, yeah, the, the journey of creative teams is not over yet. I'll see you again for more. With love with care. Goodbye. <sighs> now I'm really not going to play you again, am I? God damn.